What's up, y'all? It's your boy Nate back with another banger. I'm super excited today, y'all. I'm gonna be talking about something that I've been experimenting with for a couple months now on a consistent basis, and it's called contrast therapy. Now, contrast therapy is kind of newish to the fitness industry. I, it's kind of getting a little traction with the, you know, social media and whatnot. Make sure you guys stay till the end of the video because there's a lot of important stuff at the end that I need to tell you in order for you to be safe. Um, because this can be a little riskier, you know, especially if you have pre-existing conditions with your heart. Uh, but yeah, just stay tuned to the end. A lot of tips and tricks and how to do this correctly. Let's go. Now, um, I know what you're probably saying to yourself. What is contrast therapy? What is it? No one knows. Well, I got you, bro. I got you. I've been doing my research. Clearly, basically what contrast therapy is, is going from an extremely hot environment to an extremely cold environment, back to back, back to back, baby. Now, all these benefits can be achieved from solely cold immersion or cold exposure, but the heat basically acts as an amplifier to amplify the benefits of the cold exposure. So if you want to get even more of the uh, strength of the benefits, then do hot and then cold. <laughs> Let's go through the seven top benefits that you can get from doing contrast therapy and how it's gonna affect your body, your mind, your soul, and everything in between, baby. Let's get it. So the first benefit that you're gonna get from doing contrast therapy is gonna be minimizing lactic acid buildup. Now everybody knows that when you do a hard workout, you know, the next day you're like, oh, I'm sore, oh. It's because of the lactic acid buildup in your muscles. And believe it or not, Contrast therapy or cold water therapy actually helps minimize the lactic acid buildup in your muscles, which helps you recover faster, better, stronger, and you can just get back in the gym and get working faster than the normal person who doesn't do it. Ooh, yeah, we like that, we like that. Number two, the second benefit that you get from doing contrast therapy is gonna be reducing joint inflammation. Now, spending time in a hot plunge or exposing yourself to heat before you go into a cold plunge is gonna help reduce the inflammation and pain on your joints, which is gonna help you with mobility and, and all around just movement. Number three, the third benefit from doing contrast therapy is gonna be a natural detox for your body or increase in the immune system response. Now, going from a hot to a cold temperature really quickly is gonna activate your body's lymphatic system which is the body's way of fighting off, you know, stuff that shouldn't be there. Foreign entities, if you will. <laughs> Foreign entities like, you know, uh, pathogens or, you know, bacteria that's not supposed to be there. You know are not supposed to be there, dude. Get out. The body's like, what are you doing, bro? So when you go from hot to cold really quickly, it's going to activate your body's lymphatic system to fight off diseases, to fight off anything that shouldn't be there, and to just push out all the stuff that's not supposed to be in your body. Number four, my favorite benefit from doing cold plunges is managing stress levels and reducing anxiety. So when you go from a hot to a cold environment super fast, it's gonna activate endorphins in your brain, bro, in the brain. Woo! Endorphins make you feel good. So, you know, if you do contrast therapy, you go from a really hot environment to a really cold environment super quickly. It's gonna activate endorphins to be released in your body, which is gonna help you feel uh, it's gonna help you feel good. It's gonna give you a sense of well-being um, and just gonna help lower stress. And you know what? When you lower stress, when you lower your cortisol levels, it's gonna help your body, you know, do, do what it needs to do a lot better than if your body had a bunch of stress or cortisol. So you're gonna sleep better, um, you're gonna recover faster. It's just stress is no good. We don't like stress. We, we're not stressing over here. Number five, an increase in muscle strength. Now, contrast therapy has actually been shown to increase your muscle strength post recovery. And everybody wants to be strong, you know, everybody wants to be big like Nate. But yeah, if you wanna get big and you wanna build some muscle faster than the normal person, do contrast therapy, bro. Number six is fat loss. Now, cold water therapy actually activates your brown fat. So, what's brown fat? What's brown fat? No one knows what brown fat is. I do. I do. I did my research. Brown fat keeps your body warm. It helps control your blood sugar. And it burns calories. Burning calories equals fat loss. 
plain and simple. If you want to burn fat faster than the normal person, do contrast therapy. Last but not least, one of the most interesting benefits I think of contrast therapy is longevity. What's longevity? Longevity is increasing your body's way of surviving. You can survive longer if you do contrast therapy. Isn't that crazy? That's crazy. Whoa, dude. <laughs> Don't you want to live longer? Don't you want to be on this earth longer? You want to buy time for yourself? If you want to be on this magical planet longer than the rest of everybody, do contrast therapy. So longevity is talking about like telomere length and telomeres are in your cells. Um, it just makes you live longer and look more beautiful longer and look young and clean and good. <laughs> so if you want to look young forever, do cold plunges. Trust. Now, I was a little skeptical at first before I did cold plunges and contrast therapy. I was a little skeptical, you know, if it worked or not, if all the benefits were there and stuff. But I can tell you from personal experience, I have the body scans from one month of doing this, one month of doing contrast therapy, I have lost 3.3 pounds of body fat and I've gained 2.7 pounds of muscle. So, you know, I've gotten a little, you know, a little bigger from doing this stuff and, uh, you know, that's with constant work, you know, of course, you know, you gotta, you can't just do this and expect to gain muscle and lose fat at the same time. But if you're going to the gym and then you're also doing this on the side or doing this after your workouts, it's definitely something I would recommend personally because I've tried it and it works. I'm telling you, it works. <laughs> it's amazing. It's perfect. It's lovely. I feel great. I just did it like 15 minutes ago. I felt amazing. Talk to your doctor if you have any conditions or heart conditions that you are concerned that this might be a problem with. You definitely want to talk to a doctor before you start doing this stuff because it can be a little taxing on your body when you, a little stressful when you uh, put your body in extreme temperatures like this. Now let's get into how you do this. How do you do a cold plunge? How do you do contrast therapy? I'll let you know right now. So basically, if you don't have like an ice bath or like a, a sauna that you can do this in, you can always do it with a shower. You can always go from a hot shower, flip that hoe all the way, <laughs> all the way to cold. If you go into the shower and turn it on hot, you know, get nice and warm, and then you flip the knob all the way to cold, and you just go straight cold uh, shower. And that's gonna shock your body as well. It's not gonna work as well as it, you know it would if you had like a ice bath and then a sauna. You know those two are like the best I'd say. But um, if you you know you can only work with, with what you got. So this is probably the best alternative if you don't have that equipment with you. Now there's a couple things you want to keep in mind before you do this. You want to go from a hot environment to a cold environment, and you want to end on a cold environment. You do not want to end on a hot environment. Trust me, that can create you know problems for your body that you do not want to deal with. So do not end on a hot. Always end on cold. Um, you want to do a hot exposure for around 20 minutes and you want to do cold exposure after that for around 3 to 10 minutes depending on your tolerance level. I would start at 3 minutes when you first start out because when you get in an extremely cold environment like 50 degree water or even below that like ice baths, um, it's going to be pretty taxing on your body and your, your lungs are going to open up, you're going to be breathing heavy and you're going to be like, whoa, this is freezing cold. <laughs> Um, so start small, work your way up a little bit, and uh, you know, just have fun with it. I just did the cold plunge, I'm freezing cold right now. Now just like anything in life, consistency is key. If you want to get the most health benefits out of cold plunges or out of contrast therapy, you need to be consistent. Um, I recommend four to five days a week. Uh, consistently in order to get the most health benefits out of, out of this but um, I do it every day I love to do it so I do it every day but uh, four days four or five days a week is definitely like perfect I was super excited to make this video y'all I'm super passionate about fitness about you know contrast therapy about self-improving uh, so definitely guys leave me a comment on what you guys want to see next or if you have any questions let me know in the comments I'll definitely read them and respond to them uh, make sure to like the video, subscribe y'all, subscribe. I'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers by the end of the month. Hopefully we can make that happen. I know you guys got me like that. Let's go. Make sure to tune in for the next video y'all. We're going to have another banger and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.